Many of you have probably already found the library's homepage and bookmarked it too, I hope. If you don't know where our website is, you can find it at isu.edu forward slash library, or you can go to the Quick Links tab of any ISU page and then just scroll down to library. The library's website isn't static or unchanging. We are always trying to improve it to make it easier to use, so what you see here in this video may not 100% match what you see on the current website, but it should be pretty close. The number one feature we have on our website is this big search box. The default is for a feature called OneSearch. This searches almost everything we have access to, so it's great in that you'll almost always find something, but it can be frustrating because you'll almost always find too much. I'm going to do a quick search on compassion fatigue. Yeah, I don't need 900,000 items on compassion fatigue, not even close. The good news is that you can limit by using some of the features over on the left hand side. So if I'm not looking for books, I can limit to scholarly peer reviewed journals. If I only want books, I can limit to catalog. So I'll click the scholarly peer reviewed journals and I'm down 26,000. Still, that's a lot, but it's better than 900,000. And from here, you can move the date slider so you can find things that are only current. Okay, a little bit better. And then there's additional limiters you can use as well. So OneSearch is a great tool. Just realize it is kind of a spaghetti at the wall approach to searching. The next tab over is our library catalog. This search is primarily just the books and eBooks we have access to. I'm gonna do the same search and just look for compassion fatigue. The default is to search for the title. I just actually wanna do a quick search. So wherever compassion fatigue occurs, so whether it's an abstract or a title, and I've only got 15 results and you can see that this looks a lot different than our OneSearch. OneSearch does search our library catalog, but if you only want the book results, you might just try searching just in the library catalog. Okay, the third tab over is our databases. These are collections of information generally organized by a topic. So we have databases specific to nursing, psychology, history, dance, and so on. If you know the title of the database, you can browse it here. But if you don't know the title, click on the view more results. And then you can actually select by subject. I will select counseling. This is a great way to search if you don't know the particular database name. Then you can just search on what's included in that particular topic. All right, one more over and we're looking at our journals by title, which amazingly enough is where you search for journals by title. You're going to use this if you have a journal or a citation and you wanna see if the library owns this particular journal. So I'm gonna search on JAMA and it's going to find anything that closely matches your search. In this case, there's a lot of different versions of JAMA, but I want just the main one. And from here, you can search within the publication. So if you have an article title, you can copy and paste it here and search, which is super convenient. If you just wanna see what we have access to, you can click on the little plus sign there and then you can see our holdings. In this case, we have JAMA available in more than one source. We have it, the top one, it's from 1998 to present, That's full text online. If you see anything that mentions the library catalog, that means we either have or had it in print. Sometimes there'll be multiple databases. In this case, we also have JAMA in Medline Complete, but it does have a full text delay of one month. This is something you'll probably see multiple times in some of our journals that we actually do have what's called an embargo where you can't get the most recent journal articles. In that case, you can always interlibrary loan it from a different library. Last but not least are our research guides. These are something I really love and I hope you will too, mainly because their goal is to make your life easier. Yay! These guides are collections based on a particular topic, a major or a course. You can browse through this list. Usually you're gonna be looking through your major. We'll pull up the one for nursing. These guides include links to the most relevant databases, how to find books and articles, how to cite sources and more. They are super helpful and I hope you'll come back to these. For those of you who are in the health sciences, you're going to wanna to scroll down and click on the health sciences library. This includes a lot of the similar tabs that we had in the main libraries page, and it also includes OneSearch. In this case, OneSearch is limited to just our health sciences resources, so you're still going to find a lot, you're just not going to find as much, and it should be much more health focused. You can also use our quick databases here, which are the list of the most frequently used health sciences databases. Finally, each of these links up here towards the top contain really useful information too. You can learn more about our libraries and our collections through this link. You can find out information about some of our services and how you use some of those. 
You can learn more about the library and the library staff. What I want to call out is the subject librarians page here. This is really good to know because it's important to know who the librarian is for your program. This librarian is the best person to contact if you have library related questions as they are the experts in these subjects. Uh, so in this case, the departments, the communication sciences and disorders, Molly Montgomery or me, I'm the subject librarian for that. This is my phone number and this is the department contact. So I work with Chris out of CSAD when they need stuff ordered. Eventually all of these will be linked to our emails so you are welcome to just click on that and you can email me directly. Hooray! Of course you're always welcome to ask any librarian for help and you can do that by going to the contact us and there's going to be many ways to reach us through here. Finally you've got the information under my library account. The ISU library account is for books that the library has so if you want to renew a book or request a book that's the one to click on. If you're looking to request a book or an article that we don't own you'll want to go to the interlibrary loan account form. The library website is here to help you with all of your research needs. Yes, there can be a lot here, but if you focus on just your particular topic areas, it can be much more manageable. And of course, the librarians are always here to help.